listening to Tough Tiger Talk Flash Report. Now rocking the Tough Tiger Talk on the PO Media Network. Hello, and I'm going to be on this episode of Tiger Talk. And we're talking about this one, man. This one's going to be interesting when uh, bringing up Greg McElroy. That's right, the former Alabama Crimson Tide quarterback tabs LSU Alabama upcoming matchup this season as a must win after the Tigers took it to him in a fantastic game last year and really kind of woke up what we were doing here when we talked about uh, what Coach Kelly was able to do coming to LSU. We realized that LSU was trying to make its presence felt Went in the West, that was huge. Taking down Alabama, that was big. So listen to Will McElroy. Let's see what he had to say about this. But before we get to it, please feel free, family, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the share button as we hear what old McElroy had to say about the upcoming matchup against Iowa Tigers. Here we go. We went through and we selected five games that we think might be the most pressure-packed, most important games of the season. This doesn't people are going to look at this and they're going to say, well, you know, come on, it's, it's, the Florida State Clemson, that, that's got to be it, right? I mean, why wouldn't that be the game that maybe wins the ACC that ultimately maybe gets them to the driver's seat to be in the college football playoff? I, that's not kind of how we're looking at this. And I think you'll understand a little bit more when I get through the list, okay? Let's start with game number one. Alabama against LSU. And you're going to say, well, come on, Greg. (laughs) That game's always big. I understand that, okay? I completely understand that. But here's why this is significant. Alabama, coming off a loss on the road in Baton Rouge last year, it was a difficult game, but it announced to the world that Brian Kelly and, frankly, the LSU Tigers had arrived. And not only had they arrived, but they'd arrived ahead of schedule. Very few people thought that that game would be competitive for fourth quarters. I mean, a lot of people thought that this game might get sideways in favor of Alabama because at that point, LSU had been a team that had been a little bit of a roller coaster at that point. Well, they found ways to win games. They found ways to become victorious. And then fast forward to the first Saturday in November, they were able to pull off one of the biggest shocks of the college football season and knocking off Bryce Young and taking the driver's seat in the SEC West that would ultimately lead to them getting to Atlanta and playing for the SEC title game. Now, fast forward into year number two for Brian Kelly. Great additions made in the portal, returning quarterback, young offensive line that is probably going to be even better. And maybe I think going into the season on the short list as maybe the best offensive line in college football, excellent wide receivers, multiple that have emerged in Kyron Lacey and Malik Neighbors as potential 1A, 1B when looking at the passing attack. And then a defense that returns their best player, well, best two players from a year ago. Mason Smith comes back. He was hurt in the first defensive series of the season last year against Florida State. And then, of course, you bring back Harold Perkins, who might be one of the most pound-for-pound gifted players in America. So LSU is going to be really, really good. Alabama has been the standard in the SEC West for the better part of the last 15 years. With Nick Saban approaching what might be the finish line, some people have assumed maybe five years, 10 years, however long Nick Saban goes, there was a clear pecking order. One is Alabama, two is LSU, in any given year. Maybe some years people thought A&M was that. Maybe some people thought Ole Miss was that. Maybe other teams, you know, however you want to sort them out, Alabama has been the consensus number one in the West for as long as I can remember. But if LSU were to get a victory in Bryant-Denny Stadium and win two in a row against Nick Saban, would that indicate a bit of a shift in the way teams are perceived in the SEC West? I don't know, but that's one I think Alabama has to win. And with it being at home, I think they'll probably be favored going into the game, depending on how both teams are playing at that time. Let's go to game. All right. That's McElroy's thoughts on the must win game. And if you're Alabama, you definitely circle in the LSU matchup. And we, cause we did it too. 
LSU. Now, I brought, I mean, to Alabama. Now, LSU, on the other hand, Coach Kelly coming into the season, a lot of people um, thought that, you know, that would it would not definitely be uh, LSU might eventually dethrone a very difficult Alabama team. Nobody perceived that. I ain't going to say nobody because I myself and a lot of the diehard Tigers out there knew that LSU at some point was going to step up and take this thing. Now, I would be not really honest with you if I, I seen them as a team that would take the West. I thought they'll be very competitive in the West. And I thought it'd be a very uh, kind of a um, kind of a slow process in terms, not slow, but, you know, first year we win, second year we take the West, third year we, we kind of climb that, uh, that ladder. But uh, Brian Kelly got here. He took whatever was, was, was left over, which was not a lot that Coach O left. He used the transfer portal and really built his secondary, brought in a lot of fantastic players. He brought in um, just terrific. I mean, there's so many great players. Jaden Daniels came and he was able to get his running attack going, able to get his offensive line together. Wide receivers came in and played really well and handled the business. And Jaden Daniels was huge in the Alabama uh, win. Uh, and they beat them 32 to 31 in overtime. It was a fantastic game in, in Tiger Stadium. Jaden Daniels uh, was 22 of 32. He had 182 yards, two touchdowns, and even ran 18 times for 95 yards and had a score there. So he was placing the ball and putting it everywhere. And it was just a fantastic win because what it did was it gave uh, LSU just set the entire West, the SEC and the SEC period, on notice that LSU is here. And, and remember the, the very famous words of Coach Brian Kelly when he came into Tiger Country. He said that I'm here to beat Nick Saban. He did it in his first year. And of course, it almost is like a feel. And I'm not looking past Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide, but it's almost like a feel where it was a shift. And you can he mentions it. McElroy mentions it. And a lot of people mentions it like, OK, Alabama had their time. And I'm not saying their time is over with. But Brian Kelly is a very thorough coach and Nick Saban is Nick Saban. So you have a coach in there that once he started winning here and LSU started recruiting and, and the recruiting has been really well for this year, the following year and going into the future, they have very solid recruit classes and that's going to only improve and it's going to continue to be a mega factory for LSU because Brian Kelly is a, is a person that knows how to win and not only knows how to win, but sustain winning over long periods of time. He did it everywhere he went. And that's something that we've been missing for a while here in Tiger country. So for, be able to get a coach like him down here and then build his staff together and able to move forward. It's, it's going to be a very good time. So Alabama definitely should have us circled on that list and we're not looking past Alabama we have the Alabama matchup circle we're looking at uh, eventually down around down the line defending the West crown in the SEC and looking for an SEC championship could we say championship in the second year being that we went to the SEC championship last year could we say I most certainly can't right our, our expectations have been elevated because of what we've been through we took the West last year played an SEC championship game could we be looking championship bound national championship moving forward and i would have to say yes man because we got elevated floor right here man and we just have to keep on doing what we're doing so we for real lsu is for real and alabama has every bit you know the right to be concerned about what's going on so this is going to be a fantastic matchup like it's always have been and mcelroy is is definitely wise to kind of circle that for his crimson buddies so with that being said i'm gonna get ready to out on that I'd like to thank all the family members for tuning in on this episode of Tough Tiger Talk. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the share button, and we'll hear holla at you on the flip side. Let's love. Subscribe to the Tough Tiger Talk channel.